Yes. Hi, Naomi. Hello. Hi. What you got for me? Um, so I'm uh 43, and okay. I'm a single mom, and mm-hmm. I have three kids, but two are grown, and one is 13. Mm-hmm. So would I be entitled to a um, high value man? And I make six figures. Were, uh, were you married to their fathers? Yes. Okay, but you but you're divorced now. Yes. How long have you guys been divorced? Um, uh, my second marriage, I, I was divorced in 2012. So eight years. Yeah. So you you. So let's just look at the numbers. You're 43 mm-hmm. with two children out of the household and a 13 yes. year old. Yes. Um, what, um, what product on the market tends to gain value as it ages and gets more wear? Wine. No, I say it gets more wear. Wine doesn't get wear. It ages, but it doesn't, it's not used. Uh, hmm. Come on, six figures. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Um, but but the fact that you're having to think so long means that that's not the way it normally works. If something is eight gets older, it tends to lose value, especially with use. So does that mean? Let's just, let's just, let's just, no, let's just stick on this logic. Okay. So if you, so your income is not what attracts men. It's your beauty, your youth, your fertility, access to wound, those those kind of things. I don't want a young man though. I want a (laughs) ma'am that does not. Okay. If, right. if it's somebody like okay. my age around all my right. age, okay. All right. I'm all right, all right. But again, let's let's take that path. Okay. How tall, how tall are you? Five seven. Dress size. Fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? One. Come on, I'm an image consultant. Give me no, 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 five seven. Keep it going. I'm one seventy. No, ma'am. <laughs> not not what? five seven. That dress size twelve fourteen. Come on, ma'am. What's yeah. the most? What's the most you've ever weighed? One seventy. The most I've ever mm-hmm. weighed was like one seventy five. All right, let's let's just give it to you. It's not even worth. It's not even worth the hill dying on. Uh, how often do you, a week do you work out? Mm, two to three. When's the um, last time you address size four, six? Uh, in my 20s. All right. So, a man in your age range earning six figures, believe it or not, he has access to women like yourself, women a little bit older, and women much younger. Okay. Women. And the thing is, most women want me. Then you, you care if he's black or not? Uh, yeah. You prefer him to be black? Yes. That means he's in that top 8% of black men. What state do you live in? <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> there you go. So there are not even that many there, ma'am. So if you have a man that's 50 in Alabama earning six figures, he has all of Alabama looking for him. The previous caller was 30 with two kids and you saw her photo. If that was accurate, that was an attractive woman. She's got one less kid than you. But they're grown. The two are grown. It doesn't freak toast matter. See, you ladies, all that's okay. I told you what men value and you ladies tend to always say, yeah, but what it shows is you really are not in tune with it. It shows that modern women have have really become detached from what men want and who we are. 
I don't mm-hmm. care if your kids are grown. When a man who's earning the kind of money you talk about looks at you, he's looking, looks at a woman. He's looking at a woman's attractiveness first. Other things come into play later on. But what if he wants to have children? Can't happen. Not with me. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. And 51% of black men have no children. Higher earning black men, higher earning men tend to wait to have children. You can't have children. So I get that you may want them, but what does he want? That's what you ladies need to ask yourself. What do the kind of men that you want, want in a woman? Tell me what, what does, tell me, before you ask me a question, tell me what they want in a woman. Um, I'm thinking, um, partnership, uh, uh, a helpmate, um, loyalty, trust, love. Am I wrong? <laughs> what I'm saying is at 43 years old, you don't okay. know. You're grasping at straws. You're waiting for me to tell you to stop or fill something in. I'm asking you definitively. You're going on the market to to try to get to buy one to be to be bought one by one of these things. What do they want? And you've just shown that you really don't know. That's okay, but that means to the market that you're really not curious about what we want. You're just trying to get us to buy what you have to sell. No, I really want to know what men well, want. Well, I, I said it earlier. Men value a woman's beauty her fitness, her cooperation, her fertility, and her womb. You've already been married twice, and twice. you've had three kids. Yeah. Ma'am, you've already won. You've had all your tickets. The game is over. You don't get any high value anything. What really would make practical sense is I just want somebody to to spend the rest of my life with an average person because ma'am your dress size 1214 you know how the next questions where would you rank yourself and you're in Alabama you're not moving you got a 13 year old your standard is far too high for many reasons including geography and that's what triggers so many women when I said average at best and die alone. And it, hold on, hold on, because this is coming. Hold on. You haven't had a man in eight years. It's not because men don't exist. I, it's not that I haven't had a man in eight years. Just A relationship in eight years. That's what I mean. Well, I've had a, a, a relationship, but I, I mean, I, I really want to know, are you saying like, as opposed to me wanting someone um, like a high dollar, I guess a high value man, um, I should want like an average, what, fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 man? I mean, okay, take your money away and what would you be? Real talk, take your money away. What would you be? Um, I would be, I don't know. That's... Right, right there in the middle. Average, normal. Okay. Okay. But how well, can we you... att- oh, listen, listen, listen. We, we attract what we are. What I'm trying to get you ladies to understand is many of you are basing your dating sexual marketplace value on your education and your income and that is not what men pick women on we pick you on what on on the things i mentioned so you're it's like we want dollars and you got euros there's a conversion right if you uh, let me ask you another question yeah if you worked at walmart would you be wanting the same kind of man you want now Mm. 
I don't know because I would come on, ma. Come on, ma. Come on, ma. No, I think see? I would be in a different mind frame as opposed to. Ah, uh, but see, what but I no, but you would still, but see, you may be in a different mind frame, but you'd still be in the same body, the same sexual market category for men. And that's what so many women seem to have a problem with. It's like, well, damn, I'd be in a different mind frame. Why? Because I'd be making different money. I'm different this, man. Right. And the thing is, I'm not trying to be rude, man, but so what you make six figures? That's not what men pick women on. How many times do you women have to see a, a multimillionaire marry a Hooters girl before y'all finally freaking get it through your head? That's hard. I, I don't know. I, well, how about this? Then give me. Okay. Well, now how about the other thing? If it's hard to get, it's hard to get through your head. Then do this. You're not giving them what they want. They don't want women who weigh more than them. Do you know I'm going there with the fitness man? But you know you are not as fit as you can get. True. And you and you know that beyond a shadow of a doubt. And this and you're almost my age. And I know you've heard this. But yet you have not brought that to the marketplace. So I'm sorry if you can't demand the highest price. You ain't even done what you can do to up your rate. So let me ask you a question. If I okay, were I got to get on to the next person. Okay. okay. Go ahead, finish it out. Well, if I were to say I were to like lose this weight, lose, you know, like 20, 30 pounds or whatever. Mm -hmm. And knowing that I am at the status that I am right now, with a 13 year old child, mm -hmm. what would that, what market would that put me in? Same place you are. Cause your mentality, cause a oh man, you lose the weight, you're still 43 with a 13 year old. Yes. Man. So should I just be single? Would that be well, better? Well, if you don't mind dying alone, sure. If you, mm -hmm. if, if, you, if you're, if you, if, if a man's money is this important, then you know what? I got something else. You can always go <laughs> buy a dog and die alone. Cause and that's sad that you guys have reduced men to money so much to where you'd rather buy a dog and die alone other than just getting in your lane, your assortative lane, and recognize that you don't want to raise the price on, on your sexual marketplace value. The market didn't. You've right. gotten to the point to even with this last thing, if I did this, I did that, that means it needed to be done to get a higher price. It's not already done. And if you did do it, you wouldn't be doing it for the right reasons. You'd be doing it to raise your price on the market. And then when you got what you want, chances are very high that you go right back to being what you were to begin with. That's a bad deal for men. And men know this. Yeah. That's okay. why men pick women who are already fit and doing these things because they don't want them to just be doing it to get them. Okay. Got it. So what are you going to do? Um, well, I'm definitely on a, uh, lifestyle fitness type journey. Um, and I'm just doing that for myself. Uh, but, uh, I guess I can open up my horizon to, um, see one thing, let me, let me go ahead and do this scene. The thing is that's, that's good, but, but, but you got to realize opening up your horizons, you're not doing men a favor. And this is what tends to happen. The mindset needs this needs to be different. That you would be good to find somebody who's just all right with a twice divorced woman with three kids, whether two are out of the house or not. Right. Well, that's why I said, man, one out of four black women were married. If you can find one that's walking and has his faculties, <laughs> I mean, I especially in Alabama, man. I, I'm sorry, but. I don't know what y'all are thinking. I mean, I'm trying to not be that way, but it's like, especially with especially with women who are professionals and earn more, I'm like, you have to have some business acumen or sense to understand numbers and facts and data and statistics. Apply that stuff that, you, that makes your money in your personal life. But it's too personal. It's too emotional for y'all. But it is. I'm just not understanding why, why so many of y'all just prefer to just keep just standing saying I deserve and I deserve and I deserve. And then getting mad when you get in that plot by yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a hard, uh, I guess, you know, it's hard to hear. I and get, to I, well, I, you know what's harder to imagine? What's harder to hear is imagine that burial plot by yourself. 
I know, and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. All right. All right, Mom. Appreciate it. All right. So, do 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 do. I know y'all think I'm just mean, but dang. <laughs> 